There are multiple ways how you can get Microsoft Excel for free. One of the easiest way is to create a free account on office.com and this will give you ability to create Microsoft Excel spreadsheets for free. Excel for the web has very similar functionality as the desktop version of the application. And alternatively, you get access to the same Excel for the web using OneDrive.com where you can use either your existing account or create a new account and get the ability to create new Excel workbooks. Both Office.com and OneDrive.com are connected and you can get access to OneDrive from Office.com homepage as well by navigating and clicking OneDrive button right in the homepage. This configuration provides you with up to 5 GB of free storage, which would allow you to create and store a lot of documents. The features and capabilities of the web-based application are also very similar to the desktop-based application. You can preview and format large volumes of data, and you have access to the major sort and filtering capabilities. Web-based version allows you not only to create new documents, but also upload and adding existing documents. To upload existing Excel document from Office.com homepage, you use Upload and Open feature in the upper right corner. And to access the same function from OneDrive.com, you click on the Upload button right in the menu, where you can upload files and also recursively upload folders. Free web-based version of Excel.com allows you to do shared editing real-time, which is called co-authoring. Real-time co-authoring only has limited availability in Excel desktop. Through the power of technology, we see two people editing the same document side by side. And when person on the right makes changes by inserting new values, and those changes automatically show up in the copy on the left. And you can even see and track who's making the changes real time. Real time co-authoring is especially useful when you have a lot of people editing the same document at the same time. And last but not least is that free version of Excel.com allows you to access, download, print, and convert features that you typically use to work with the Excel files. For example, you are able to download and save copy to your desktop right when you need it, and you can print it in the printer-friendly version as PDF file. Even though 80% of the desktop-based features are supported in a web-based interface, there are some substantial differences. For example, access to controls, data validation, and fonts is done differently in the web-based version. For example, browser-based version, which is represented on the left, has inherent limitations on which fonts could be rendered and displayed in the browser. And desktop version, which is represented on the right, has access to a lot more fonts, which allows you much richer capabilities on the desktop for editing and formatting. Autosave is another cool feature, which is only available in the web-based version of Excel. All the changes that you make in the web-based version are saved automatically, and you don't need to hysterically click the Save button, as I used to do, trying to preserve all of my changes. Because desktop-based computers used to crash, and that was the only way available to preserve your changes in the document. Security and privacy features are also different between the two versions. For example, workbooks that use protection features of Microsoft Excel can be viewed in the browser-based version, but unfortunately, they cannot be edited because this functionality does not exist in Excel for the web. And last but not least difference on the list is the difference in undo and redo functionality between the two versions. Because Excel for the web is built from the ground up for multi-user editing, if multiple people make the changes to the document at the same time, undo and redo functionality is not available across both versions because only the person making the changes can undo the changes and this feature is not available for the second user. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. To better understand why free version of Microsoft Office is better for some scenarios, let's understand the typical document creation and editing workflow. Typically, there is a very important co-authoring document steps in document workflow. 
You might start by creating a new document or editing an existing document. But a lot of times you might be required to co-author a document with other people. Co-authoring means that you might send a link to other people and ask them to edit your document. You typically do it by using the shared feature in Office documents or copying the link and sending it directly via email. Co-authoring of the document is much more effective when you have one shared copy of the document and multiple people have access to this shared copy and can make edits. Having a single copy of the document in the cloud makes the step of co-authoring documents much more effective using the free version of Microsoft Office. In the past, typical setup of Microsoft Office was on the desktop. User can access desktop-based applications that were locally installed. Users would save the document into the local storage. And in some cases, the network server might have been created, which could be used to store backup copies of the document. Over time, people realized that in order to create high-quality document, you need to get feedback from other people. Concept of co-authoring was introduced, and software vendors, including Microsoft, started adding features to make co-authoring much easier. An example of co-authoring might be editing revisions of the document, having multiple people work on a student project, or work on the high-quality creative work. The entire review tab was introduced in Microsoft Office documents, which allowed you to track changes, accept or reject changes from other people, and compare multiple documents. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this, and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. But in the old model, you still required to share the document with other user, them making the changes, and then you going through the process of accepting and rejecting the changes. When Microsoft introduced storing documents on SharePoint as a central platform, it was a great idea, but SharePoint, unfortunately, never took off. And this technology was only accepted by the businesses. For a very long time, the only version of co-authoring for multiple people to edit the document was sharing the copy of the document on the local network. In this model, one user can create or edit documents, put them onto the shared local drive, notify another user, and then another user using similar desktop-based configuration would go ahead and edit, would review the changes, and provide suggestions for the documents that they were co-authoring. This was a great innovation back then, but the configuration required Office to be installed on user's device, device to be connected to the local network, and files shared over the network, either wired or wireless local network. Over the years, the dominant position that Microsoft Office established in document editing was challenged by free cloud-based platforms. Google created a free version of Office in the cloud, which allowed user to create an equivalent of any type of the Office file. At no cost, you can create a document in Google Docs, and suddenly users have access to free sophisticated editing capability. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. In addition to cloud-based challenge, over the years people started using mobile devices more and more and started demanding features of Microsoft Office right on the mobile smartphones or tablets. Over the years, this challenged the dominant position of Microsoft Office in document editing and the product started slowly losing market share. The new reality was the huge popularity of mobile devices, variety of different platforms on the desktop and mobile, as well as the competition from Google and Apple, forced Microsoft to rethink their cloud strategy. One of their biggest challenges was the question, how can you support the sophisticated and rich desktop-based environment, provide access and allow users to create and edit Microsoft Office documents on smartphones and tablets, as well as respond to challengers that only require the browser for Office document editing. This is how Office.com platform was created. This platform has Office applications for the browsers installed right in the cloud, which allows browser-based access to Office.com. You can use any modern browser like Chrome, Edge, which is Chromium-based, Safari, Firefox, or others, to access and edit Microsoft Office documents. Documents could be stored in the cloud on the OneDrive storage, as well as locally on the desktop in the file system for your laptop or desktop, as well as locally on the mobile devices. Desktop users, mobile users, or browser users can co-author documents at the same time. 
And the coolest feature above all is that Office.com browser-based platform is free. And the only thing you need to start taking advantage of this platform is your browser. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.